Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about the new trailer for Episode 12. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got some pretty big news to tell you guys. Episode 12, this episode, won't be airing until the 17th of February, so that's quite a long time, that's over two weeks from now, it's currently the 29th of January, so we've got 19 days, actually, until the next episode, so that is a long time. We only return for two episodes, and it's skipping the two episodes because of there's the Super Bowl on the same day on the Sunday, then there's the Grammys the next week, and then... In fact, after episode 12 on the 17th, there's going to be another break, a one-week break, because the Oscars are on on the Sunday. So, lots of big events coming up on American TV, so that's why they're skipping them. I'm really upset that it affects Supergirl over any of the other shows. Like, why do you put Supergirl on Sunday? It makes no sense. They should totally take it off. But anyway, so that's the repercussion of them moving the show to Sunday. They're skipping it because of the Super Bowl, Grammys, and Oscars. Obviously, I'm ecstatic for the Oscars. Don't care about the Super Bowl or the Grammys. Number one, not American. Also, I don't really care about, you know, pop music or anything like that. So, I'm not too bothered about the Oscars, but it's just like, why put it on a Sunday? Why put Supergirl on a Sunday when, if it was in the day, it wouldn't affect anything? So, yeah. So, after episode 12, there'll be a week break until the 3rd of March, where we'll get episode 13. So, you know, it's affecting Supergirl mainly. So, let's go ahead and talk about this talk about the trailer and what's going to be actually happening in this episode so we got some photos and we got a synopsis not too long ago from when before last episode actually aired and last episode was really good I really really liked last episode and so this episode is going to be sort of the continuation to do with Nia as dreamer and what's going to be happening so if you didn't check out my review yesterday Please be sure to check it out. I'm sorry that this video didn't come out the day before. At the moment, I'm just stacked up with work, and honestly, it's really hard to get in the time to make these videos, but I'm trying to do at least one a day right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and break down this trailer. So the first shot of the trailer, Kara is talking to Nia, and they're on like a rooftop or somewhere, maybe at the DEO, maybe Nia visits for the first time, I don't know. But Nia's going to be become becoming a hero, she's going to be becoming that dreamer persona, she's going to be in National City rather than in her hometown, and she's got a full-on superhero suit and everything that we saw last episode, but we get to see her for the first time in this trailer in the suit and so in this speech where Kara's talking to Nia she says your powers give you the potential to be a great hero and so essentially what's going to be happening probably is Kara is going to be sort of mentoring Nia into becoming this hero so I don't know how long Nia is going to last on the show I don't know if they plan to ship her off like last season with like say Saturn Girl or something like that and maybe bring back Win next season like they're planning but for now she's going to get the development of being being a hero and we'll have to wait and see if she carries on into next season because as we know the Supergirl showrunners are very indecisive and they you know slash lots of storylines slash characters bring in new characters you know whatever like who remembers snap a car who remembers all these other characters that just came in and went straight away okay so moving on the next shot of the trailer we see inside Catco it's Nia and she's most likely looking at someone probably Kara and moving on from that, we see that Kara and Jean are at a crime scene and there's two, like, I don't know, 20 year olds that are seemingly dead on the ground and in the voice overlay we know that they're trying to solve who actually committed these crimes and it seems like Kara and Jean got here before the DEO, so they got in, they phased through the wall, just walked through or whatever. and. They are seemingly working together, and I really do like that Jean has been working with Kara a lot recently in his PI role, and he's not sidelined, and I, yeah, I'm just really liking that right now, that dynamic between them. And so in the next shot, we see one of these bodies, and it's the DEO's there, it's outside, and in the next shot, you see the thing that actually killed the alien or the person or the alien causing the damage and I don't know what alien it is in this episode but anyway you see the wound and it's really fucking deep so we'll have to wait and see 
as to what alien it is, but something very, very powerful, it seems. And so we see a shot of Alex inside the DEO. Recently, I have to say, I'm kind of getting a bit bored of Alex in her suit because she seems to wear it all the time. And the only time we see her in other clothing is inside Kara's apartment when they have the Danvers sister scenes. It's just a bit repetitive. Um, I think maybe they could do with a bit of a wardrobe change you know, switch up a little bit every now and again. I love the suit, but it's just, you know, that's all she's wearing mainly at the moment. And so we move on to the next shot and we see Kara as most likely she's here with this alien that you see her fighting in a minute. And we know Nia's in this same scene, so this is like the start of the scene and Kara's making this kind of shocked face. So maybe it's the alien, maybe it's Nia, maybe she's seeing her fighting her for the first time or something like that. Then we move on to the next shot, we get the return of Ben Lockwood agent liberty and we see his wife and his son and his son says you're the only one who is brave enough to stand up for humanity so he's returning looking forward to that although i do want the red daughter storyline to take over to take over i really did like agent liberty i thought he was very good and ben lockwood's is in prison as you can see in this and i don't know if he's going to get out i don't necessarily think he is maybe this is also the return of manchester black because menagerie the titular character of this episode is part of manchester black's elite in the comics and we know manchester black is returning but you know the matter is when is he going to return we go on to the next shot and we see his son ben lockwood's son holding a children of liberty mask so is he going to suit up and fight what his father fought for in a very father son type way but i'm not sure if he will but i think he's going to be definitely tempted because he's been swayed his wife has been swayed into this sort of cause and so in the next shot we see that brainy is in fact at nia's apartment and so you know what's going on here but Anyway, they're talking together, and it's Nia and Brainy, and Brainy's got this case. Maybe this is an upgrade of the suit, because the suit that we saw that her mother actually gave her didn't seem to have the blue bits on it, so maybe Brainy's done an upgrade, or maybe he's brought in a future suit. But anyway, there's a briefcase there, and I have to say, her apartment's very nice. Like, how rich is she? I just have to mention that. It's a super nice designed apartment, but like, that is fucking massive. Moving on to the next scene, we see Nia, and this is most likely in her apartment or at Catco, but then we see supposedly Menagerie. So, Menagerie is the alien of the episode. Sorry, I totally forgot to mention when I said I didn't know what the alien of the episode was. It's Menagerie. I'm stupid. Sorry about that. But anyway, we see her fighting Supergirl in the air with the American flags, very Supergirl-like, and they land on this car, and in the next shot, once the car is actually smashed down and she's fine, Supergirl's fine, so her powers are very strong. She can, you know, withstand this fall from such a large height being thrust down by Supergirl. And we see Nia come in first time in her suit. I love this suit. I think the color scheme with the different shades of blue, the gray, the white, I think it really works. Also, the mask, I think it looks really great on Nicole Maines. And we see her actually smacking Menagerie round the face and Kara says that was amazing so Kara's been really supportive although Nia's obviously going to make some mistakes she's going to be very supportive of the way that she's going to be trying to mentor her in becoming a hero and so this is outside the sort of gala place that we saw in those photos just a few days ago maybe a week ago or something like that and we see Kara and Nia working together and that's going to be a big thing in this episode so I'm looking forward to this a lot and I think Nia looks really really awesome in that suit and I think the development's going to be an exciting thing to look forward to but the thing is this mental role happens a lot in this TV in these TV shows and sometimes it can get a bit boring so hopefully they play it in a way that's really good something along the lines of Kara teaching mon you know add some different elements to it you know with him failing with him testing his morality so in this case with maybe Nia taking on the responsibility of being a hero for the first time obviously she's going to make mistakes but it's whether the fact of is this going to be exciting to watch and I am very much looking forward to it so let me know if you guys are in the comments down below so just a quick reminder Supergirl doesn't return until the 17th of February for episode 12 this episode Menagerie and then we've got a week break after the 17th 
for the Oscars on the Sunday 24th and then the week after and the week after and the week after so episode 13, 14, 15 are all 3rd, 10th and 17th of March so all back to normal once we get past the end of February. Thanks for watching and if you did enjoy please be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DC TV show so you can stay up to date. Also subscribe to my film and my movie podcast channel, the two separate channels where we talk about everything that you need to know about films and all the latest news in regards to Marvel, DC, independent films, horror films, whatever we want to talk about essentially. So anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.